Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm actually going to be unboxing my first box from Tribe Beauty Box. If you've been to my channel for a while, you'll know that I think about a year-ish ago, I came out with a video called I Cancelled All My Subscription Boxes, and here's why. Up until that point, I had tried Birch Box and, uh... I almost forgot the name of it, BoxyCharm, and the Sephora Play Box. I really like the Sephora Play Box, but when I got my job at Sephora, it seems so long ago, I used to work part-time at Sephora, you weren't allowed to have the Sephora Play Box, so I canceled that one. I canceled Birch Box because I was literally getting like some of the same products over and over from month to month, and they were little samples, and it wasn't really worth it, so I canceled that one. And then BoxyCharm, I finally canceled because I did the math, and I realized I was decluttering more than half of the products I was getting in each box. Or like over the course of a year, I was decluttering more than half of them. And so that obviously wasn't also worth it. I have heard about Try a Beauty Box for a while, specifically through, um, I think it's Porcelain's channel. And now more recently, Angelica Neekvist's channel. Because I was able to snag the December box, which is a collab between Try a Beauty Box and Angelica Neekvist, which I thought was really cool. I love that this company is um, woman-owned, woman of color owned. And they seem to focus more on indie makeup or not as well-known makeup. And they do collab with smaller youtubers and so i really wanted to support this brand and i thought it was about time that i get into another subscription box but i didn't want something monthly this box is every other month it's about 34 or 35 dollars every other month so it comes out to even a little cheaper than boxycharm if you're paying 20 a month for that it's only every other month you get full-size products still and it is mainly i believe as far as i know it is mainly like indie or less known brands i did try to pick up the box before this which i I think was the October box but it was totally sold out and like I couldn't get it with this box I was able to pick it up and I actually subscribed so I am going to be getting the box for a while I think I want to do at least six months at least three boxes just to see if I find any new brands you know explore a bit more and I like that it's every other month and not every month I feel like it's a bit better and it's better than like the quarterly boxes so honestly I think every other month is like the best way to go. So I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the products that I got in here, but I don't want to try them out or review them. I don't want to give them just first impressions. So what I think I'm gonna do, since this is the first box, we're just gonna unbox it and talk a little bit about it. But when I get the next box, then I can come back to the products in here because it'll have been two months. So I can actually give you a review of the products and then we can open the next box. First of all, I love this box. Look how cute it is. It's all decorated and everything. My address is on the other side, so we're not gonna see that. And I just dropped everything. But like on the front, it's so cute. I love this. So now that I've dropped most of everything, <laughs> this is the card. And yes, this is the collab box with Angelica Neekfist. And it has all the products and the prices listed there. I did open this just real quick to confirm that it was the December box and the collab. But I haven't really looked into any of the products yet. You also get, I guess there's a product from Clonona Cosmetics in here. And so there is like a little discount code where you can get 15% off when you use this code. So the first product I'm going to talk about is one that's right on the top and this looks like an eye mask yes this is the herbal collagen and retinol cherub eye mask from cysteine and these retail for $15.50 i think that is each but there's two in the box the card says uh, key herbal agents retinol and collagen along with a natural blend of ingredients hydration is achieved and puffy eyes are eradicated i think $15 each is a bit kind of nuts but i've never heard of the brand never tried it out can't wait to try them. And like I said, there's two, and I'm assuming these are one-time use products, so we'll see. Next, let's talk about the actual brushes. So that we get a whole brush set in here, and these are from Cledona Cosmetics. And this is the five-piece stained glass brush set, which retails for $24.50, and I, like, mispronounced everything in that sentence. <laughs> Inspired by the beautiful art of stained glass, this custom set for Try Beauty Box includes a large bronzing brush, a blending brush, a smudging brush, a packing brush, and a min mini angled brush. Oh my god, I really needed a new angled brush because I'm trying to do like cut creases and more detailed work and I've noticed that all of my angled brushes are frayed and they're not as tight as they used to be. Oh, this angled brush looks really nice. Oh, I'm so excited for that. That's literally perfect for what I needed. And this looks like a concealer brush. It's supposed to be like a flat packing brush, but with the size of my eyes. Yeah. Um, but that's good because... Oh, so it shouldn't have happened. But this morning, I was using my MAC concealer brush to put on my eye primer. And, like, the top popped off. And you know how expensive MAC brushes are, right? So I do need a new one. So this is actually, like, coming at a perfect time. I don't know about this 
a uh, blending brush just because like my said my eye size it might be too big but i will try it out the smudging brush this does look more like a is this the packing brush or the smudging brush <laughs> I don't know, I really can't tell the difference. But like this one, I'm assuming is a smudging brush. I could use this for like under or in the outer corner. And then the bronzing brush, this looks like it's actually a bit big for bronzing. I don't know. I'd probably use this as an all over powder brush instead, but they're really cute. I love the design and I really needed an angled brush. So this is actually awesome. So this one isn't on the card. I don't know if it was like a, an extra product that got put in or if it's like a for your first box you get an extra product. And this is from Wander Beauty and this is the Lip Setter Dual Lipstick and Lip Liner. And oh, it's like, like a mauve kind of pink. I would totally wear that. So it looks like the lipstick is on that side and the lip liner. I like that idea of having a matching lip lipstick and lip liner like together. Um, I don't want to put this on right now because I did want to try on this liquid lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics instead, but I'm definitely going to try this out. But I have to remember to keep it in here because like I said, it wasn't on the, oh wait. Yeah, it wasn't on the card. So. Wee woo, wee woo, there are alarms outside. So like I mentioned, next we have a lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics, and this is the Longwear Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Mudslide. So it looks like a deep kind of brown. Let's see what the card says. Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick retails for $19 or $20. It looks like Mystic Moon was Angelica's favorite shade. I did not get this one. I got Mudslide, which is a decadent and rich brown toned liquid lip that will give your look a sultry sophistication. So I'm actually going to open up this compact because we also got a um, highlighter from Makeup Geek. And I do think this has a mirror in it. So I'm just going to pop this open and use the mirror to try this lipstick on. Ooh, so that actually looks really pretty. It's like a deep kind of fall color. It definitely doesn't match my eye look. My eye looks a bit more red slash pink for this, but it's a really pretty shade. I've never tried a lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics, so I'm going to have to try, and try this out for like a day, wear it all day, and see how I like the wear. Okay, so next we have this highlighter from Makeup Geek. It's a duochrome highlighter, and I do, I did purchase a bronzer and a highlighter from Makeup Geek from Target a while ago, but I don't think it was a duochrome highlighter. This is in the shade Celestial, which looks gorgeous. I'm gonna do a swatch. Ooh, it's like pretty subtle for a duochrome, but it's really pretty. Let's read what the card says. This Makeup Geek highlighter is $14.99 and I have the shade Celestial and it says, I guess, they're only, they're only supposed to be psychedelic and ablaze. I guess they must have run out of those shades and threw in another one. So there really isn't anything about this one on the card. Next we have something called the Vixen Potion from Ven Venus Gale cosmetics this is an intense pigment for an edgy chrome effect multi-chrome pigments are 35 times more expensive than regular eyeshadow formulas they are truly amazing that's a bit odd to put on the card about it but okay Ooh, the packaging is gorgeous but it did leak out like all over this so let me just do a quick little oh it's messy oh my god <laughs> i'm not really great at using loose pigments for this particular reason. Yeah, it's definitely, I don't know. I tried to do like a little swatchy swatch, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's just like a glitter. It's not, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. And it is everywhere. All right, last but certainly not least, we have this palette from Glam Light Cosmetics, which is known, they're known for like, they're kind of crazy, like the pizza palette and the burger palette and everything, right? So this is the Miracle Palette, which retails for $28. The Miracle Palette is a tribute to all of the brave women in the world who have been affected by breast cancer. It is a stunning rose color story, the perfect palette for subtle or glam looks. I didn't know they were using this to donate to breast cancer research. That's pretty awesome. It is a gorgeous palette, huge mirror, and it is a good like rose color story. Personally, I don't know if I would have gone on my way to, I mean, other than supporting charity, which I probably would have. Um, I don't know if I would have purchased this just for the color story because it looks fairly close to what I already have in my collection. But I don't think I've actually tried out, if I have, I've only tried out one palette from Glam Light. So I do want to test this out and give you guys my thoughts in the next video about the Glam Light formula. So that's everything I got in this box. Let me know down below if you guys want to continue seeing videos on the Tribe Beauty box and along my kind of 
procession, not procession, on my journey to try out more like indie brands, more lesser known brands. And also congrats to Angelica Neekvist for this collab. It is really awesome. I love seeing smaller, really creative uh, creators get recognized in this way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.